Elon Musk said XRP is getting ready to explode. XRP to $100,000. CME Group plans to launch new reference rates of cryptocurrencies and indices in real time for the largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, with the exception of stablecoins. However, the XRP cryptocurrency was not included in this list. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. It is expected that the CME group will not risk displeasing the US regulator by including XRP in the list of reference rates of cryptocurrencies and indices in real time. And even if they did, they wouldn't be able to get much data on the US benchmark XRP prices. CMECF base rates and real-time indices are regularly monitored by experts and are designed to meet the growing need for transparent, regulated and round-the-clock pricing. Perhaps that is why XRP is not included in the list, since the digital asset has been at the center of a legal dispute between the SEC and Ripple Labs over the alleged unregistered sale of securities. Since the lawsuit was filed on December 22, 2020, American cryptocurrency exchanges and trading platforms quickly moved to delisting XRP, fearing retaliation from the SEC. Similarly, it cannot be expected that the CME group will risk displeasing the US regulator by including XRP in the list of reference cryptocurrency rates and real-time indices. And even if they did, they wouldn't be able to get the price data for the benchmark XRP in the US. Starting from May 3rd, cryptocurrency platforms will begin to provide price data for the formation of new indicators. This involves such crypto platforms as Bitstamp, Coinbase, Gemini, Itbit and Kraken, as well as LMAX Digital, XRP trading is suspended for them, or it is completely excluded. And since it is difficult to predict the end time of the trial, as well as its result, companies located in the jurisdiction of the United States will continue to stay away from XRP in order not to fall under the attention of the SEC themselves. Carnegie Mellon University CMU, has announced that the popular cryptocurrency and fintech company Ripple has become a founding sponsor of the Secure Blockchain Initiative. Excited to continue working with Carnegie Mellon University while furthering UBRI's mission to support research and study in hash blockchain and hash cryptocurrencies. In a recent press release, the university noted that the Secure Blockchain Initiative is an interdisciplinary research program created to rethink and change the blockchain in various corporate systems, which will provide solutions to the main problems inherent in this technology. Lauren Weymouth, Ripple's head of university partnerships, said the company expects new opportunities to emerge in CMU's visionary program, which could have a big impact on the blockchain sector. As we support Carnegie Mellon faculty and students, Ripple looks forward to collaborating with global experts in solving these open research challenges, Weymouth added. Ripple's director of university partnerships noted that the mission is to support research in the field of blockchain and cryptocurrencies at universities around the world. This would not have been possible without partners like CMU. Quote, in addition, he noted that Ripple strives to ensure that institutions, businesses and customers can easily access global financial systems without any restrictions. His partnership with CMU will be another guarantee of achieving this goal. According to the announcement, this partnership extends the previous collaboration between Ripple and Carnegie Mellon University. It is noteworthy that three years ago CMU became a partner of the Ripple University Blockchain Research Initiative, a program designed to support technical developments, academic research and innovation in the crypto and blockchain industries. After the partnership, the blockchain company collaborated with CMU researchers on several blockchain-focused projects, including UBRI Connect and Ripple's annual academic meetings. Commenting on the development, Nicholas Christine, professor at the Institute of Software Research, said. The sponsorship of blockchain at Scilab is an ideal and natural development of a thriving partnership and cooperation between CMU and Ripple. We look forward to Ripple's support and contribution to our ambitious new initiative. Quote, Despite the ongoing litigation with the SEC, Ripple has been entering into innovative partnerships in various sectors since its inception. The company invests in various projects related to cryptocurrency, such as financing developers of non-interchangeable tokens on the XRP ledger. Empower Oversight, 
a nonprofit organization that filed a Freedom of Information Act request in August 2021 on suspicion of improper conduct by SEC officials in relation to the XRP lawsuit, has finally received and published SEC emails that prove that the agency and William Hinman knew about his conflict of interest. The documents show that the SEC Ethics Office warned former SEC official William Hinman that he had a direct financial interest in Simpson Thacker, however, Hinman continued to meet with the firm despite these warnings, Empower Oversight said on Twitter. As can be seen from the disclosed documents, SEC Ethics Advisor Shira Minton sent an email to William Hinman on January 25, 2018, which stated that the analysis for Simpson Thacker is the same as always, you have a ban due to a financial conflict with Simpson Thacker, because you have a permanent financial interest to the firm. Meeting with them during such a conflict is not allowed. As we discussed at your briefing, even calls with them are prohibited. This is also a serious problem with optics, you cannot see that you are giving special access to a company in which you have a financial interest. This meeting is small enough to cause concern. Quote, during the email chain, Shira Minton also replied, but, Bill, it occurs to us that you have a complete financial conflict of interest with your old firm, not just an impartial one. Therefore, you should not have any meetings with your old firm. Even group meetings. Quote, Hinman met with Josh Bonney, a partner at Simpson Thacker, at least three times after that warning. Hinman also met with Ethereum co-founders and investors ahead of a market speech he delivered in 2018, announcing that the digital asset Ether is not a security, despite Simpson Thacker's participation in the enterprise Ethereum Alliance, which promotes the commercial use of Ethereum. This raises questions about whether Hinman fully disclosed Simpson Thacker's role in Ethereum from SEC ethics representatives and whether they would have approved of the meetings or his speech if he had done so. Hinman didn't just have retirement benefits. He had an ongoing financial interest in the success of Simpson Thacker. The better his law firm did the better he did. Helping clients equals? EEA. Ethics told him to not meet with his partners, yet he continued. He was a double agent. Pick. Twitter. Com. 6 iy 8 tm derf. Judge Sarah Netburn will soon rule on a motion by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to review the production of the plaintiff's internal documents. A lot has been said about them, and many legal experts have shared their suspicions that these emails and notes could ruin the sex case against Ripple. The emails disclosed by Empower Oversight are only about conflict of interest issues. The live XRP price today is $0.88 United States dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of $3 billion 740 million United States dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.